So uh, what if this guy worked for your company? Would he still be on your payroll? I'm talking about Bob Filner, who's facing a long, very long list of sexual harassment allegations and an ever-increasing, resounding call for his resignation. But he is still the mayor of San Diego. And so far, we're not hearing that he's got any other plans but to stay as the mayor of San Diego. Meanwhile, at City yesterday, uh, a crowd held a rally to make it clear that they're not happy that he's still the mayor of San Diego and that he's planning to return to the mayor's office after a stint in counseling. Two weeks is not a cure. Two weeks is not enough for us to forget. We are not going to forget. We are not going away. And we will keep repeating, Bob must go! Bob must go! Bob, let's go. You heard it. Two weeks is not enough. What's he referring to? The rehab. The rehab that he apparently left early. Our lawyers are back with me now, Danny Savalos and Paul Callan. A lot of people shake their heads at this. They think, wait a minute, if you do something naughty, you're out. That's not the case when it comes to public office anywhere, and particularly this jurisdiction, right, Paul? Not true at all. As a matter of fact, a particularly famous case, Michael Curley, who was the famous mayor of Boston, actually served as mayor from a prison cell. He was reelected after being convicted of a felony and continued to serve as mayor of Boston. San Diego, it's the same thing. Um, even if this mayor had been convicted of a crime, he couldn't necessarily be forced out of office. They can do a recall election, though. They've got 40 days to put the signatures together to recall him, and he can be thrown out of office by the voters. So let me get this straight. Uh, voters who do not like this, and there are many, you saw some of them in that, uh, in that protest, they have to go by the recall process? They can't do something like an impeachment or something even more drastic like just, you're fired? There doesn't seem to be an impeachment statute that applies or a code that applies. You look to the city charter, you look to the municipal code here, and the only available remedy seems to be a recall in this case. So the question becomes, can they get enough voters involved for the recall? But it stands in stark contrast to California being an at-will state, which means for private entities, you can hire or fire for any reason as long as it's not an illegal reason, which is why this case sort of shocks people, because when it comes to our public officials, the, the rules are totally <laughs> inverted. And it doesn't seem like it seems like it should be the other way around, quite frankly. So uh, here's my question. Maybe he could be, you know, like that 1920s mayor and, and serve while he's in trouble. And maybe he'll have to spend a lot of time in civil courtrooms, because any one of those people who who made those allegations uh, can take this the civil route, right, Paul? Yes, they're talking as many as 13 sets of allegations out there, and they all can file lawsuits against him. Um, he's their employer, and if he acts improperly, there are federal laws that protect them. So, so good I would... luck to that jurisdiction to get its work done if he's battling lawsuits on a whole bunch of fronts, right? Yeek. Tough want to be place there. to be a female municipal worker, I would say. And a tough yes. place to be uh, the mayor. If you're facing all of that, people right. are going to dislike him even more. All right, uh, Danny Savalas and Paul Callan, stand by if you will.